Welcome to Friday, Glads. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for March kick off today at lunch with the reps from Paul Mitchell School. Next Wednesday, the reps from the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design are scheduled to be here. Lamar Community College rescheduled their visit for Wednesday, March 21st, and put this one on your calendar for next month. Black Hills State University in South Dakota will be here on Thursday, April 12th. We expect to add more school visits this month, so stay tuned. Speaking of April visits, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Students enrolled in AP classes. The window to order and pay for your AP exams is now open. Pick up your order form and contract from your AP teacher and be sure to have your teacher initial your form. All payments are due to the business office by March 16th. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held on March 10th from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. The conference is free and is open to all students in grades 6 through 12. Seniors, this is a great scholarship opportunity. Applications are available in the Counseling Center and the Attendance Office. You can also register on the link on the Counseling webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. Hey seniors, Kiri Carmody needs you. Well, she needs your senior photos for the yearbook and senior slideshow. Remember, your photos don't have to be from this year. Dig deep to find those photos your mom took of you in elementary school and the ones you have from those junior high events. Send photos to Curie's email address and please make sure you are sending photos of seniors only. And finally for seniors, bring in all college acceptance letters and scholarship grant award letters into the Counseling Center as you receive them, even if you do not plan to accept them. The Counseling Center wants to ensure we properly recognize our students at Senior Awards Night in May. Remember to include military scholarships and awards. Contact Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more details. And now, let's check in with Ms. Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody! Today we're having breaded. Thanks, Miss Betsy and her crew. We appreciate your humor. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. The Pennies for Puppies campaign has been extended. In fact, it will kick off on Monday and Student Cabinet is asking for donations of gently used towels and blankets, dog and cat toys, and of course, cash money is always welcomed. Donations will be collected in advisory classes and the advisory class that brings in the most donations will earn a pizza party. The campaign will run until Friday, March 16th. FCCLA is having a meeting on Monday, March 5th during lunch in Mrs. Tuji's room. If you cannot make it, please check in with her for details and information you will miss. We'll be back in a bit with some club news and fundraiser information, but first, here's Moose Santos with our Gladiator Sports Update. It's a great Friday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, guess what time it is? Come on, guess what time it is? That's right, it's Powder Puff time. Student Cabinet is getting teams ready for this year's Powder Puff game. Starting on March 12th, if you would like to participate, they need players, cheerleaders, and coaches. Then see Miss Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slips. Permission slips are due by March 23rd. Spring sports practices started on Monday and, and we are expecting some strong performances from our team this year, starting with the baseball team. The varsity baseball team kicks off their preseason games with a scrimmage against Lewis Palmer on Saturday morning at 11.30 in Monument. Come check out the boys do their thing on the diamond. If you can't make it up the road, our JV baseball team is also playing the Lewis Palmer Rangers right here on Big Blue at 11.30 on Saturday. You never know who might swing up to the varsity team, so come check it out. Also in baseball news, the the baseball team Flapjack Fundraiser date has been changed to Sunday, March 11th at Applebee's on Highway 8587. Remember, $10 will get you some mouth-watering flapjacks served by your favorite WHS ball player. Buy your tickets today from any baseball player or stop by the main office. NJROTC Cadets, remember the information for the Peterson Air Force Base Gate and your money is due next week. Be sure to have that in to Major Davis or Master Chief Preston no later than March 5th. Now here's our health tip of the day. Health tip of the week. So this week we're continuing to talk
talk about healthy weight loss, specifically physical activity. So I know I talk about it all the time. Get physical activity 30 to 60 minutes a day, at least 120 minutes per week. So what does that actually mean? Well, that's vigorous activity, meaning that your heart rate got up over its normal level for at least 25 minutes. So if you're walking a mile, if you're running, if you're lifting weights, anything you can do consistently for 25 or more minutes. Does this mean you have to be in a sport or you have to lift weights? But you should be doing something physical, even cleaning your house. So helping out mom and dad adds to that physical activity. So get out, get some physical activity, and be healthy. Thanks, Doc. Those sound like great ways to get moving. Next Friday, Doc will talk about sunshine and the importance of having enough vitamin D in our lives. And speaking of sunshine, if you're interested in being a student athletic trainer for the spring sports, but you missed the meeting yesterday, please see Doc in the training room for the information. The Ultimate Frisbee team started practices last week. Check in with Mr. Nell in room 116 or Mr. Walls in room 4 for information and practice schedules. Student Senate is looking for some strong warriors for the Warrior Games against Fountain Fort Carson. If you would like to sign up, please see Miss Melton in room 103. Let's keep our winning streak going. In basketball news, both our girls and boys basketball teams have their dance cards ready for the grade eight playoffs. Our Lady Glads take their game on the road to play tonight against the Golden Demons in Golden for a six o'clock tip off time, while the boys travel to Lewis Palmer on Saturday night to hoop it up against the Rangers at 7 p.m. Ticket costs for those games are $7 for students and $9 for adults. If you can make it to either of the games, we know our student athletes would greatly appreciate your support. Let's go GLADS! That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to all our athletes in their practices and games. I'm Moose Santos, now back to you, John and Maddie. Thanks Moose. If you signed up to donate blood, remember to return your permission slip by Thursday, March 8th to Miss Melton in room 103. If you do not return your consent forms, your donation slot will be given to another student. Sign-ups are closed for now. Ladies attending the military ball and early planners for prom. Schedule your appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet now with Miss HK in the library or Mrs. Molina in room 111. Remember, the ball is on March 9th and prom is scheduled for April 21st. The library would like to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under the bed. You should also pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. The WHS Theater Department bake sales next week in the Science Hall to support their production of The Addams Family. All baked goods will be under $2. Come buy some yummy snacks. And speaking of the Theater Department, their production of The Addams Family, the musical, will be March 8th through the 10th at 7 p.m. in the Widefield High School Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see all your favorites, Gomez, Marticia, and Wednesday, sing and dance their way across the stage and into your hearts. And finally, the SPED department would like to invite everyone to come to their Spread the Word to End the Word campaign on Wednesday, March 7th in the small gym. Stop by during lunch to sign the banner to pledge to end using the R word and support the Special Olympics. That's all our news today. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. Just keep your head in the door and don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Just keep your head in the